I'm guessing since 2008, people have been calling Chris Nolan the king of Hollywood, and his response is, No, I am not the king. There is no king, and that's final. Hi guys, The Dark Knight Rises is the final chapter of the Dark Knight Trilogy or Nolan series. I'll give you four names. Kristen Bale, Tom Hardy, Anne Hathaway, and Joseph Gordon leave it. The plot is eight years has passed since the last movie. Bruce Wayne has retired as Batman. Not everyone misses Batman. And unfortunately, another terrorist group hits Gotham, led by the mysterious and all-powerful Bane. And not only does Batman have to return, he also has to rise up to meet the great challenges, several of them, not just one, and of course, he will need lots of help to take back the city and restore hope. This is my favorite Batman movie. I feel it's the greatest. If, if you feel Batman Begins or Dark Knight is the best one, that's fine. Please tell me why. Is it the darkest one? No, I feel that's Batman Returns, and if you disagree, it's fine, it's understandable. Is it the most suspenseful? Oh, absolutely, undeniably. I, I was really on the edge of my seat, and by that I mean I was just really tense. I, I wasn't sweaty or shaky, and if you feel... If I'm not being shaky, I'm not on the edge of my seat. Well, not I guess, but... Okay, moving on. To my surprise, the acting is great. In fact, there isn't a single bad performance. Chris and Bale is back as Batman for the last time. He won't be in the Justice League. Maybe j just for fun, he will do a quick funny cameo. I feel Kristen delivers his best performance since The Fighter. I won't be surprised if both he and Tom Hardy will receive Oscar nods for this movie. Bruce Wayne is more emotionally troubled than he already was, and sadly he'll, he'll have to experience more pain after some healing. Don't worry, I won't spoil anything. Like Heath Ledger, Tom Hardy has created a, a great comic book villain, and both guys weren't acting. They became the characters, the forces. Like Joker, Bane is colorful, menacing, and unstoppable. Who, who's the better villain? Well, you, you can't really compare the two because they're so different, but you can still have, have a preference. In fact, I won't be surprised to hear if some people say he or she has no preference. I prefer Joker because he's so careless, sadistic, and an anarchy-loving. Bane has a cause. He feels he's doing good by doing some bad stuff, and Joker is the exact opposite. He's a real left turn. Catwoman is great. I'm, I'm not surprised that Anne Halfway was great. I wasn't expecting her to be bad. The Princess Bride is the only one other Anne Halfway movie I've seen. Catwoman is sexy, charming, and tough, and only mildly less interesting than Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman because... Michelle's Catwoman is insane. Tim Burton's Batman characters are insane, and that's why some people don't like his movies or like them less. Only as much as Christopher Nolan's Batman films. All three Nolan Batman movies are over two hours long. This is the longest, two hours and 45 minutes. You would think there are a few or several boring scenes. Maybe two dialogue scenes couldn't be cut out, but whatever. My point is, the pacing is great! I never felt bored. Um, close to every scene felt really necessary, like Inception. I have something to say about Dark Knight. I feel the Mr. Lau subplot could have been cut out or, or cut down a bit. Maybe 20 minutes could have been cut out, but whatever. The, that's my opinion. If you feel that subplot is very necessary, that's fine. Yeah, the action is great. It's epic. Uh, even even without epic music, or maybe any mu music plan at all, it's still epic. It's still severe high candy, I guess. Uh, and yeah, it's practical. Maybe a few explosions, maybe a few car rolls or CG, but you know what? Um, not everything can be practical on every movie, and well, it's, it's nice, not every director is CGI heavy or CGI loving, yeah, whatever. Are there any flaws? Mm, not really, I mean, th th there are a few plot holes, but you know what, plot holes are on, nobody can avoid plot holes, I mean, 
um, any plot hole can be major or minor, you know, stuff not everybody thinks about. And maybe a few plot points are a little forced. I'm sure everyone has heard about the Batman Massacre. It's, it's a real damn shame and well hopefully the culprit will be locked up for the rest of his damn life. If you don't mind, I'd like to take a moment of silence. Don't worry, I I'm not going to crack any joke. Wait, um, this movie is great. I'm sure it will be great on a regular screen. I won't be surprised if I'll end up seeing this one more time in the theater. I won't be seeing it alone. I will definitely buy it on Blu-ray. Hopefully the, the reboot will be great. It will be nowhere near as good as Batman Begins. So, everyone who, who, who's worked on this movie, you did great. I give this an A. If you like this video, if you if you want to follow me, please hit the subscribe button instead of contact sizing me. So anyway, um, take care now. Bye.